Good morning everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Saturday, May 18, 2024. I pray that the Spirit of God will be with us today. And as we go throughout this day, may we feel His presence near. May we experience the fullness of joy that comes with being a part of God's family. And I pray that we will look to Him and may we draw from Him wisdom. May we draw from Him courage and may we depend on Him for strength as we continue to walk in His light and in His favor. Our reading today comes to us from Malachi chapter 4, reading from verse 1 to 3. And it says, for behold the day cometh that burn as a an oven and all the proud yea all that do wickedly shall be stubble and the day that cometh shall burn them up saith the lord of hosts that it shall leave them neither root nor branch but unto you that fear my name shall the son of righteousness arise with healing in his wings, and ye shall go forth and grow up as calves of the stall. And ye shall tread down the wicked, for they shall be ashes under the soles of your feet. In the day that I shall do this, say the Lord of hosts. Amen. What a word this morning. It is such a comfort to know that wickedness will not last forever and that is why i love god's word so much because it gives comfort as well as reproof and guidance and this is a prophecy that has been given to us to inform us what will happen at the coming of our lord jesus christ so it made the reference and it points out the root and the branch now the work of satan it is being recorded in heaven and those that lend themselves those of us who give ourselves to his service those of us who allow him to deceive us and cause us to sin and to do the things that are wrong we will receive or reward according to the deeds that we have done and so here the bible speaks about the root and the branch now who is the root of course the root here refers to satan because he is the orchestrator of everything of sin and then now those that follow him those of us that choose to allow him to tempt us and then we yield to that temptation and then we sin and we go against God and his law and his principles we are considered the branch because we are not the originator of evil and sin but we are participant in it and so we are following the leader so if I commit sin then I am a branch and Satan is what? The root. And that is why it is important for you and I to know these things so that we don't end up disobeying God. Because the word of God reminds us that those who practice sin, those who do the things that are not right, we are children of our father, the devil. That is what we are told in the word of God. And then it went on to say that those of us who fear the Lord's name, who reverence his name, in other words, those of us who turn away from sin, turn away from doing the things that are wrong, those of us who accept the righteousness of Christ, we will receive healing and then we will be able to stand tall not in our own strength of course not in our own righteousness but 
in the righteousness of Christ. And it says also that what? We will tread down on the wicked for they shall what? Be ashes under our feet. So you can interpret that this way. After you have burned a piece of wood or anything, what remains? Just the ashes, right? And so if the hurt receive a, a purified cleansing and everything everyone that commits sin is burned to ashes what is left you understand and where's the ashes on the earth eat so you see so this gives hope to those who remain faithful to god that sin will not last forever and it therefore means that if sin it will not last forever and this will be the faith of those who practice sin then we must make the right choice in following god and doing what is right so that this faith don't becomes us and also keeping in mind that what god our rescuer our savior at his return will take us out of all of these misery and suffering that we experience from the hand of Satan. And we will be safe with our Father and our long-awaited Savior. So may God help us to be faithful and may He help us to be true as we continue to wait for a soon return. God bless you and have a wonderful day. Amen.